Greg Ehrenberg from Odd Chopper here to bring you the best MLB bets for Monday night. And there's only one game on, on today. It's game five, Yankees-Guardians, a really high leverage game, obviously. Winner moves on to the next round of playoffs. Loser goes home. Their season is over, and that is certainly going to impact how I think these teams are both going to be managed tonight. And it's going to play into the bets that I'm about to give out. That's why you come in, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you want any more bets, not just for myself, but for everybody else on the YouTube channel we have here, we've got our premium betting Discord. And we're going to be doing a Q&A ahead of the basketball season for Monday. That's going to be starting at 2 Eastern time. It's right now scheduled for 2 to 3. If people have extra questions, we'll be sticking around longer. But if you want access to that for free, Click on the link below in the description box and you get one free week access to our premium betting Discord. Also, quick recap of the bets I did for the last baseball slate. That was Saturday. Went two and one. And once again, it was a lot of the same. Cashing some overs on strikeout pitcher props. Lance McCullers over four and a half strikeouts. That won easily. Luis Severino over three and a half strikeouts. That also won easily. The one losing bet I had of the day was I was on the Braves against Noah Syndergaard. That one didn't end up working out. Phillies won that game. They clinched the series. But overall, 2-1 and one for the Saturday slate. And now it's time for just the one-game baseball slate for Monday. And that's what it's going to be going forward, just one baseball game per day on the remaining days. Obviously, World Series, only two teams left. But then for the finals of the American League and the National League, they're alternating games the teams play. So just one-game slates going forward. But let's break it down. Game 5, Yankees-Guardians. These are the best bets. For the first bet of the day, I'm starting us off with under three and a half strikeouts for Aaron Savali. And I know that I've mostly been targeting overs for pitcher strikeout props during the postseason. But I think this game is inherently different than some of those other games. And also keep in mind, Savali is not as talented as basically any other pitcher that we've talked about during the playoffs. And for reference, three and a half strikeouts. That was the same prop we had on Luis Severino just a couple of days ago. Now Savali has the three and a half strikeout prop. But here's what really concerns me about Savali. For one, he hasn't pitched since October 5th. That makes it, to me, pretty unlikely that he's going to be stretched out to pitch really deep into this game. That and also, he just isn't one of the better pitchers on Cleveland. So it makes sense that they probably only want to get him through the order once, twice at a maximum, and then get to some of the higher leverage arms in the bullpen. And I wouldn't be surprised if we see pitchers like Emmanuel Classe go out and pitch multiple innings for Cleveland. And the same is going to apply to the Yankees. Might talk about them in a little bit, where I think we're going to see the starting pitchers come out of this game really early for a number of reasons. But the number one thing for me when I'm talking about Savali, he's not pitched since October 5th, like I said, against Kansas City Royals. About two weeks since he last pitched. And in his last starts down the stretch of the regular season, here was his pitch count. By the way, this is all of his starts across September and October. And he only made three starts in September, the one in October. And his pitch counts in those starts, 69, 75, 76, and 84. Now, I just don't think it's all that like we're seeing more than like 50 or 60 pitches from Savali and potentially less when you consider that there's just better options for Cleveland to go to out of the bullpen. They can get one or two innings from at a time because the overall results for Savali this year, he had a 4.92 ERA. That's really not that great. And really significant home road splits. This is a pitcher who is significantly better pitching in Cleveland than he was on the road. And he's pitching at Yankee Stadium, which is one of the more difficult stadiums that we have to pitch in in all of baseball this year. Savali, 3.8 ERA at home, but 5.88 on the road. And here's where the biggest difference comes. We're digging into his numbers. The strikeout rate. Some of those calls that he kind of gets along the edges at home as a pitcher doesn't really have overpowering stuff. He simply did not get those when he was not pitching at home. So at home, 27.2% strikeout rate for Savali. On the road, 21.6. That's what we care about most here. This is a road star for Savali. So worst strikeout pitcher on the road. I don't think he's stretched out. I don't think as is that the Cleveland Guardians even wanted to go very deep into the game. So first bet of the night, under three and a half strikeouts for Aaron Savali. Today's show is sponsored by BetMGM. And if you guys haven't signed up there yet, you're missing out on 200 bucks. They're basically going to be giving you for free because here's all you need to do to collect that money. You click on the link below, head on over to BetMGM and sign up. And then when you place a $10 NHL money line bet, they're going to pay you $200 as long as there's a goal scored. And there's going to be a goal score. There's not going to be a 0-0 hockey game out there. So 200 bucks basically for free. If you haven't signed up at BetMGM, now is your chance to take advantage of the offer. Get another place to place bets because you want to make sure you're getting the best odds possible, comparing it to all other books. And then also getting 200 bucks for free when you're signing up over there. So take advantage of this offer. Sign up at BetMGM. Click on the link below.
Now, for my other bet of tonight's game, I've got Jamison Tyon for under three and a half strikeouts. And this is one of those things, right? You got to know when to hold them. You got to know when to fold them. Because throughout the playoffs, we've been smashing the overs for some of these pitcher strikeout props. We've seen star pitchers, studs like Clayton Kershaw, have an over-under four and a half strikeouts. Luis Severino, three and a half. But it's time to take some of the unders on these. Just mentioned, I like the under for Savali. I like the under for Jamison Tyon as well. And it's for a lot of the same reason. Because when it comes to Tyon, he has not started yet in the postseason for the Yankees. He has made one bullpen appearance, and it went terribly. So we saw him a few days ago against the Guardians. So October 14th, he came in in relief. Zero outs recorded for Tyon. Ended up throwing 18 pitches. Ended up blowing the game for the Yankees. Gave up a couple of earned runs. And that's also why I think the Yankees are going to think about that appearance and have a very quick hook when it comes to Jamison and Tyon. They do not want things to go south. And considering that it did go south for him just a few days ago, the last time he made an appearance, it's hard to think the Yankees are going to have a whole lot of confidence in Jamison and Tyon. It might be as quick as this. If he walks a couple of hitters in the first or second inning, I think that's it for Jamison and Tyon. That's how short I think the leash is today. That's why I like the under three and a half strikeouts. And then also... In terms of him making starts, kind of similar to Savali, he hasn't made a start in two weeks either. Has not pitched since October 4th against the Texas Rangers. So that's something that I also think makes it very unlikely that we see a deep outing in this game for, Jam- for Jamison Tyon because how how confident could we be that he stretched out or even able to work the, the beginning? So we could win this bet a couple of games. The plan could be for him to not pitch a lot of innings. He'd get in trouble early and the Yankees have a quick hook with him. Or he just flat out pitch poorly, which he already did a few days ago. So Jamison Tyone, I'm once again going to be taking under a three and a half strikeout props with him. Under three and a half Ks for Jamison Tyone. So recapping my bets for game five between the Yankees and Guardians, two strikeout props, two unders, same number on both starters, under three and a half Ks for Aaron Savali, under three and a half Ks also for Jamison Tyone. What do you guys think of the logic here? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? What else are you betting for the game? Let me know below in the comment section. Personally, I found the game a little tough to call in terms of just picking an outright winner, considering it's probably going to be a heavy bullpen game. I don't think the starters are going to go all that deep. So I'm just looking at some of the strikeout props, which is really where I feel that more of my read is for this particular game. But if you guys are really confident in picking a winner, let me know who you think it's going to be in the comment section below. Also, before you leave, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and enjoy the game tonight.